time for my book unhaul video so these are all the books that I'm getting rid of either donating or selling for come on, zoom back out, selling for small monetary amounts depending on the quality of the book so first we've got can't pick it up Lovecraft's The Dreams in the Witch House and Other Stories which I haven't actually read this particular book but I read a, another edition from the library and wasn't particularly impressed with the stories found them jumbled and confusing and thought I'm not going to read that there's no need for it to take up space on my shelf then we've got Arthur Conan Doyle's The Hound of the Baskervilles I have a complete collection edition in leather bound hardcover which is much nicer and so no longer need one individual story then we've got an old copy of the hobbit which i bought just to be a reading copy um so i didn't care that it's got somebody else's name on the on the front cover but then i went out and bought the uh, movie tie-in editions and so I no longer need that slightly ratty incorrectly labeled edition this is a John Grisham the runaway jury uh, ex library that I bought for like 50 cents from the library uh, and when my granddad my mum's father died a few years ago we cleaned out his bookshelves and one of the books he owned in a hardcover a really nice hardcover was this book and so no need to keep an ex-library book that's not particularly attractive with the blue barcode on it not exactly sure where we got this one from but no one in the house has any interest in reading it so that's going to the Zongum tree at the moment see if we can make a couple of bucks off it Uh, this is a book I got uh, from the Goodreads uh, uh, competition thing in me that I used to I used to enter them all and got this for free. Um, I won it for free. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and I've just recently read it, and there's a review of it uh, on the channel if you're interested. It was pretty good. A bit confused about what it was trying to be, but it was pretty good. Uh, and it's a really nice hardcover edition with lovely th illustrations on every single page throughout. And all the chapters start with some lovely sort of line or pencil drawings. Um, so you're yeah, trying, trying to going to sell that one. Then this is my brother's, uh, I think it's university textbook, which nobody has any any interest in reading not even him anymore so that's probably going to go to the brotherhood because I don't think anyone wants to buy it this is a very old landscaping book from Reader's Digest and it looks pretty good on the inside, front, front cover rather but when you go to the inside everything's a little bit old-fashioned and I think it was written in like the 80s <laughs> so all the trends from the 80s are not so trendy anymore so that's the start of the pile then we've got move that out of the way we've got this whole box full of books so first up we've got should move the box back further got bryce courtney's whitethorn um once again this has been replaced by a better copy from my granddad's library uh, we've got Ken Dare Blake's Anna Dressed in Blood, which didn't turn out to be quite as good as I was hoping it would be. And I thought, nah, I'm not going to read that again. It was, I don't know, three and a half stars probably. I think I, that's what I gave it on Goodreads. But it's not worth the space that it was taking up on the shelf. So that's going. This is a biography. Uh, biography of or maybe it's an autobiography I'm not sure autobiography it's called my life so it must be autobiography um, of JB Cummings or Bart Cummings as he was known who was uh, recently deceased 
great Australian horse racing figure, I suppose. He didn't he didn't ride the horses. He he owned them and raced them. Um, and I have no interest in reading about him. It was another one of my granddad's books, but I'm not going to keep that one. So that one's going. Another one that's been replaced by a better cup copy from my granddad's library, The Matter Reese Circle by Robert Ludlum. I have no idea what they're... Most of these books I haven't read, so I can't say what the quality of the story is like. Replacement, Frederick Forsyth's The Devil's Alternative. This one's a bit faded on the back cover. One of the reasons why I'm replacing it with one that's the cover is all the one cover, all the one colour rather. Um, this is Edgar Allan Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher and Other Writings, which is being has been replaced by another leather bound hardback um, complete uh, complete edition of all of his stories. So no need to keep another one that's taking up space. Replacement from Grandad's Library, Patricia Cornwell's Trace. Now, I think that's book number 13 in the series, something like that. I'll just put these back so I don't get them out of order. Actually, I'll read this. Look at this one first. Another one that's a replacement, Bryce Courtney's Jessica. Grandad was a big fan of Bryce Courtney, it seems. I haven't read any of them yet, but Monday I might. <laughs> um, and this is a ex-library copy, I think. Or maybe it's just a... Oh, yeah, yep, extra library copy. I've always got those withdrawals in them if they're extra library. And what else have we got here? And F. Scott Fitzgerald, uh, The Great Gatsby. Uh, that one is also another replacement. Got a um, complete edition of... Uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald's writings in Grand, from Granada's library, so don't need to keep this little one, even though it is very little, so therefore wouldn't be taking that much space up. Oh, hang on, going the wrong way. So those go back in there. Oops. Put these back. Now on to the other side. These ones are all, for some reason I put them all backwards, I'm not sure why. Anyway, and we've got Herman Wook's War and Remembrance, which is another replacement. As you can see, this one's in relatively tatty condition. It's a bit falling apart on the um, dust jacket. I think the book itself inside is fine, but the dust jacket is in not very good condition. So replacing that with a uh, better one from Granddad's Library once again. And we've got another Cornwell Lowfly, which is, I think that one's book 12, comes before Trace. I'm not sure, I haven't read them in, a, in about eight years, so I don't really remember. And we've got an even more unique book that's probably no one's going to want to, want to buy, but anyway. Class Racehorses, Australia, New Zealand, 91-92. That's one's out of my granddad's library, and who knows if anyone would ever want to read that again, but it's in really good condition. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll probably end up, being, end up giving that one away. And we've got... Hardcover Sue Grafton Emma's for Malice, which has been replaced with a better edition hardcover from Granite's Library once again. Oops, careful. Another Cornwall Predator. I think that's number 16, replaced by a hardcover from Granite's Library. Stand up. Come on, stand up. There we go. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, which was not as 
great as a lot of people had said and I just thought it was decent not decent enough for the 16 Canadian dollars I spent on it in the Vancouver airport about 10 years ago I think yeah I think it was about 10 years ago we always stop in the Vancouver airport we have a stopover from um, coming home from Kicking Horse to Melbourne and we get like two or three hours to do nothing and so I end up going to, going to the local Coles which is a bookstore in the Vancouver airport and buying too many books and this was one of them and unfortunately it wasn't worth the $16 I spent on it I should have just borrowed it from the library but anyway so that's going to be sold hopefully hopefully someone would want that one because it's a it's a nice book and it seems to be pretty popular but if I didn't like it that much this is another one I won, The Doomsday Genie by Frank P. Ryan. I won that in the Goodreads, I don't know, should have looked up what they're called, Goodreads Competition or whatever it's called. Um, it was reasonable, I think I enjoyed it. Um, but I looked at it and thought, nah, I'm not going to read it again. I re remember it pretty well and it's not, uh, doesn't really drag me into reading it again, so I thought, no need for it to keep up space. Maybe it can find a home with someone who will like it more than I did, or even more than I did. And finally, got Gone with the Wind, which is being replaced by a better edition. It's not in too bad condition, but it's seen better days. Um, mostly it's just the dust jacket, as usual. So, yeah, that's all the books that I'm getting rid of. In this unhauling there will be more as I continue to go through my shelves because we keep getting new books and I keep getting told that I have to read them read the ones we have and either get rid of them or find somewhere else to put them because the bookshelves are getting too full and I get in trouble so I will be doing more of these I imagine uh, that's the end of this one for the moment and oh the other thing I was going to say was if any of these books look interesting to anyone you are welcome to them for one or two dollars uh, plus postage of course just let me know if you're interested in any of them and I'd be happy to, happy to send them to you because at the moment it doesn't look like they're going anywhere other than the donation barrel at my local charity bookstore so just message me on Facebook, not Facebook, sorry, well, you can if you're on Facebook, but I meant on YouTube or Twitter, and I would be happy to see if anyone wants one. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.